Hello, everybody. It is Tuesday. I started that a little too early. June is Tuesday, June 21st, 2022. Hello, everybody. I'm Bryce Your pre-show navigator, bringing you into the green room, all of the good stuff there. Uh, we're excited to bring it to you. Coming up, we've got some great stories. We've got a new game. We've got a sequel game. One of the first times we've ever done a sequel game. Uh, we will be uh, uh, doing that. Uh, uh, what else have we got? We got some more Dolly stuff. We've been playing around more with that. That'll be fun and uh, all sorts of good stuff. So, everybody, thank you for joining us here on uh, the Great Night Green Room. Speaking of the Green Room, hello, Green Room. So, Can you hear me? Yeah. Hello. Hello, hello. Hello, hello, Planet Earth. Hello, hello, everybody. We're ghosts. Yeah, what up? That's what a new up? rule. Yeah. Sound travels in space, but only if you sound like this. Yeah, we're Isn't space. Isn't that right? We're, we're, we're space ghosts. I can't hear you. Oh. <laughs> oh, 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 there you are. Oh, sorry, we're ghosts in space. <laughs> Legally distinct. <laughs> Independent property. Independent property. Although apparently that <laughs> yeah yeah never mind yeah. never mind yeah. we're gonna leave it we're gonna yeah. leave it conversations previous yep we were yeah uh uh Bryce hi hey Bryce hi. how yeah, you dealing with, with this heat how you dealing with this heat my man <laughs> yeah um, man there's a lot of heat on you right now yeah. no not it, on him no the heat it's hot outside wait, well, oh, it's 100 you're saying, degrees oh, you're saying, yeah, yeah, it's 100 yeah. goddamn degrees well, I don't know I think there's a lot of heat on the guy what why why, <laughs> why? am I, I being chased do I know do do you know something I don't know why aren't you wearing a coat? Cause it's Explain like a, that. Because it is like 97 degrees outside. Yeah. Oh, because there's a lot of heat on you. Now yeah. I get it. Yeah. yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> We're back to that bit. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah, having, having successfully killed the Bryce bit, he's now back. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> Bryce is one of me now. <laughs> Someone who can be heard in space. Uh, uh, well, welcome to the uh, green room, everybody. Uh, Brett Weaver. Hello, everyone. Uh, Bobby Weaver. Brushwood. Oh. Hey, guys. And making her debut what? in the green room, E.K. Hello. Huzzah. Uh, uh, E.K. was just bragging that she has completely finished yet another comic book. <laughs> yep. Yeah. <laughs> and she's completely done with the comic book. Completely everybody done. everybody who is a gigantic fan of TJ and Amal, a fully complete uh, yep. uh, spiritual successor is now available. <laughs> Where? It's at uh, Shot. And chaser.com. I, I ain't never dashes. heard your voice crack like you that know, before. I'm with you puberty again. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yes, yeah, shot and chaser. Moved by my work. Yes. Yeah. Or you can go to tjnamal.com forward slash S A C. Is this shot a chaser.com? Because chaser. that is the new property. Yes. Yeah. Tell us about it, EK. It's a comic about a storm chaser and a photographer out in the Texas panhandle. And the trials and tribulations and tornadoes they encounter on May 17th, 2020. Now, how were you able to reconcile their personal relationship and their job of storm chasers, given that storms have stopped since global warming is a myth? That's the beauty of fiction. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, that's the thing. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> this guy has got slam dunked. All right, whatever. Funny. You think there's really a fucking Lord of the Rings ding dong? God like, damn it. No. I, this shit's fake. I was, they, trying they to made provoke, I was trying to provoke a thing. They it's, made it up. Yeah, that's fine. why they made up New Zealand, so they could fucking <laughs> fake a Lord of the Rings. Yep. They're all crisis actors, the fucking hobbits. <laughs> I did. <laughs> I, I thought I turned off the AC, but then it started again. I That's fine. Here we go. I got you. I got you. We're going to shut that shit off right now. Thank you. Enough. Thank you. Enough. Enough of this AC. Fuck, I, I'm sick, sick of its tyranny. Yeah? Yeah. The tyranny of coolness? King George and his fucking AC looking at us saying, cool it down. It's too hot in the colonies. <laughs> well, I, I mean, I, ever since AC was founded, oh, when was it? Um... Oh, 1921. Yeah, that's right. Because yeah. AC stands for... Alternating... <laughs> craziness. That's right. Uh, I'm uncomfortable with where this is headed. <laughs> Which is funny, because you're leading it. Yeah, we're like, okay, we'll, yeah. we'll go with you. Uh, uh, yes, okay. There I was. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> you want me to so, guide guide you into meditation? Yeah, I, I'm gonna need you to hypnotize me first, real quick. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Number All right. one, Brian. Brian. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> Number one. I know this is yes. a real busy week for you. Yeah. Uh, uh, well, I mean, I didn't think it was that busy, but I have time and to make sleep, it. sleep, 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 <laughs> sleep, sleep. That's how easy hypnotism is. Okay. Uh, Brian. You wouldn't believe yes. what I have to do to get him to go to sleep. <laughs> Wow. You're imagining Bonnie, and How you're very you sleepy. That, Bonnie, while he's asleep, <laughs> you're very sleepy. Uh, 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 you hear Bonnie call out from beyond the veil of mist. <laughs> cuckoo, cuckoo. <laughs> do you do you do you go north, south, east, or west? Man, I am rock hard, <laughs> and I go straight south. <laughs> You walk south. <laughs> yes. You find a shopkeeper. <laughs> oh, he is selling four perfume bottles, <laughs> one old crossword, <laughs> and a, uh, a, a, a Life magazine from 1971. Uh, he says to you the following. Hey, buddy, what would you like? Uh, <clears throat> uh, uh, steel crossword. You steal the crossword. He's what? very angry. Why are you? You know you need to pay for that. You steal perfume. You steal one of the four perfumes. It is you the know, second I can from see the you right. You're doing all this. You're doing a very bad. You job. You are only standing there in front of him as you blatantly steal. It's not even from him. stealing. He's just, he's do you weird. Pay for this? He, that... He's mildly annoyed, but weirdly kind of resigned to his state in life. I know. Put bucket on shopkeeper's head. You place a bucket on his head. He says, There's a bucket on. Why'd you put a. Steel perfume. (laughs) Uh, You steal the second of the four perfumes. Set fire to shopkeeper's house. (laughs) As you you pull out your lighter, he slaps it out of your hand. Uh, uh, Hey, bitch! It, 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 it floats up in a slow motion turn before falling in his uh, capable yet meaty hand. Uh, he then uh, lights your pants on fire. <laughs> uh, because you're a liar. Take ashes from pants, smear across upper lip, pretend to be a new person, <laughs> and say, howdy, friend. <laughs> He's confused by your disguise. I don't understand this, but uh, suddenly you're a Texan now? Is that what I'm hearing from you? Ask him if he wants to be in my club. Yeah, he he says yes. Yes. You're now a club. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Confess to him that I stole all the things. Uh, Oh, you're the guy from before. Doesn't matter. We're blood brothers now. Bro, bro. You need a name. Okay. I'll give you one. Uh, Okay. Herm. Herm. Herm yes, has joined Herman. your party. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, north, south, east, west. South. Again. List, uh, listen in mists for hot, sexy cacao bird. Uh, you hear none. <laughs> uh, you turn are, to are, Herm okay. and ask, oh, I'm what the with fuck, you. bro? <laughs> uh, 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 he asked, uh, 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 have you ever heard of the hot, sexy cacao bird from Beyond the Mist? Uh, not from Beyond the Mist, but uh, the, all that other stuff. Herm yeah, is unhelpful. Yeah. No. <laughs> uh, uh, North, south, east, west. Uh, west, west. Uh, abandoning your quest for your wife. <laughs> <laughs> you now head west for some fucking reason. All right. You are immediately. Brian. No, no. Herm, Herm, you. you Herm, you, you oh, I'm coming with, with you. Oh. you. Yeah, you're in a party Wait, let now. Let me lock up the shop. You're uh, in, you're you in the club. Okay. <laughs> you don't. You leave your shop. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's ransacked by local villagers oh, who become famous it's... for TikTok videos about I, stolen perfume. I'm and it's smelling very good. <laughs> Uh, 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 you are accosted by a gang of uh, brigands. Uh, they, they yell their battle cry. Herm, I need you to negotiate with them. Hold, uh, shut up. Uh, I gotta, gotta yell their the battle, battle cry. cry. Okay. Cuckoo, we're not that bird. <laughs> the anti bird gang has descended upon you. Uh, it is children, it's really upsetting. Uh, orphans of the village that was massacred by the hot and sexy Bonnie bird. Uh, 
<laughs> their their blood soaked uh, uh, past has led to a violence enriched future. We didn't they, mean it. They, they are now perpetuating that cycle on vi of, of violence on you. What do you do? <clears throat> uh, climb on Herm's shoulders. You climb on Herm's shoulders. Oh, he, not this again. <laughs> Herm is kind of into it. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Behold, gang of ruffians, I am very tall, is what I say. Say, say that. Uh, uh, the, point. Uh, 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 the, the gang is cowed by your tallness, as they are all <laughs> roughly three to four feet tall. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's because the hot and sexy bonnie bird also uh, deformed their legs. Uh, so they are, they, are, they are small in stature. Do you revenge. seek vengeance against the hot and sexy bonnie bird? Aye, we do. <laughs> Pirates, eh? <laughs> You are impressed. You are impressed by their artistic choice. Okay. Uh, well, hey, let, well, hold on. Let me study you a bit. Sorry, okay. my I'm, penis is talking. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I can sorry. feel it driving in the back of my neck. Uh, 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 <laughs> Herm's desire for screen time shows through. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the guy's on my neck. Might as well. Listen to my crotch, children. Uh, the, 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 the gang is confused, uh, because they can't see your dick uh, I, into I, the I, other I, man's I, neck. I, I, I rap Herm twice on the top of his head. As wow, to this is our relationship now? <laughs> uh, 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 okay. Uh, the group is fraying. I cast cancel. <laughs> <laughs> on who? Herm. He you can't say cancel on me. You're the one with the dick in the back. Of Brian, right. hop, Brian, hop. No, Brian, Brian stands up on your shoulders and pulls out his phone. <laughs> he opens Twitter and levies a tweet storm uh, of, of a salacious Me Too content against Herm. I lean, Herm, I, Herm is instantly canceled. Yeah. I lean oh, over. This is all fair. This is all fair. I deserve this. I lean over to Herm. I wipe my fingers on my my ashen, uh, uh, pants. burned pants. I wipe a mustache across his upper lip and say, "This also has the mustache." You got a new account. It's fine. It's okay. Uh, uh, Herm assumes a new identity. His new name is Berm. <laughs> Berm is uncancelled. Berm is beautiful and new. Hello, Berm everyone. never has a blemish. Berm has a slight British accent. Hello, everyone, and I just I'm so grateful to you. Brian. <laughs> Brian sits back down on Berm's shoulders. Yes, exactly <laughs> Wait, where sorry. I wanted to be. Brian sits on Berm's shoulders for the first time. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I was like, let's do this, team, and I point south. Oh, let's go south. Uh, 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 you, you, you move south. The gang of deformed pirate children are confused. <laughs> oh, that was weird. I shout. They Bur write about it on Yelp. You get, <laughs> you get one star. One star, <laughs> because you couldn't get zero. I, 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 I shout, Kaka! Nothing happens. God damn it. Um... <laughs> Uh, I say you are feeling tired. You require sleep. I lay down and go to sleep on the shoulders of Berm. Can we just Berm? Can we just Berm, a little bit? Berm, Berm sings you a lullaby. It sounds like oh, this. Oh, Brian, you should go to sleep. Hey. Oh, that was quick. While you while you sleep soundly, you have a dream it, within this fucking actual dream that you're having because apparently this is Inception. Right. Uh, in it, the Bonnie. In it, in, it, in it, the Bonnie bird comes to you in in full uh, uh, relief. Kaka. Why don't you speak, Bonnie bird? Kaka. Bonnie she's, bird. She's hot as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> You, you, while, while you would like to ask her questions, you're checking out that sexy body. All right. I begin to rub my uh, crotch on the body bird. You <laughs> cannot get to the God, body bird. The Every time that you move move your crotch toward it, the body bird uh, artfully uh, 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 swoops under your armpit. I turn away backwards and then back that ass up. <laughs> you do that. <laughs> body bird. Kaka? You, 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 you are now facing ass to bird. <laughs> Body bird, answer me a question. Kaka. All right. What up? <laughs> 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 
Oh, oh God damn it. Without, 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 without being able to understand her in dream logic, you implicitly grok her in fullness. Yep. You know your quest. You know your desire. Yes. You wake up in a cold sweat. Berm. Berm is shitting. Wait, I'm I'm doing Wordle while it, hold on. Berm is wordling. Berm is wordling. I look over at Berm's uh, phone. How many Berm, words? Berm has he uses done? a lot of consonants that are repeated. <laughs> yes. He doesn't play on hard mode. I'm not really that good at this. Uh, Berm, try beast. Just to right. throw that in there. Thank how, you. You're so fantastic. How Here, many letters on. do Berm, I give Berm, him? Yeah. Berm, Whoa! Berm, 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 Berm drops a hot log as he gets all five letters correct. All right, I hop off of Berm and go Please. to stretch my legs. Thank you. Uh, uh, you all of a sudden hear a gigantic thunderclap. Oh! Uh, 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 a, a million colors all erupt from the grass at the exact same time as finally the wizard by the name of Germ. <laughs> <laughs> Makes his <laughs> makes his appearance, yes. commanding commanding galactic power. Yes. He has face tattoos like Post Malone, <laughs> and, uh, and uh, kind of a jaw structure like him too. And, <laughs> and, and his biceps ripple, uh, and yet his legs look underdeveloped, as if he skipped leg day too often. Uh, <laughs> Oh my God! Uh, are you, are you Germ the Wizard? Yes, I'm Germ the Wizard. The be muscled. Look, Germ. Yes. <laughs> no, I mean I, that was my. Oh, I thought you were saying. I thought you were saying. Look, Germ, like you were gonna say. You something. know what? Uh, like you were I'll roll speak with that. Truth to power. Look, look Germ. You speak truth to power. <laughs> uh, you may think you're all that. Yes, I do sometimes <laughs> think I'm all that. Just because you have wizard powers and these great legs, did you see them? Okay. Uh, um. Uh, all right. Yo, Germ, Germ grows tired of your shit and casts a a terrible curse by the name of. Terrible curse spell. <laughs> oh my god, what has happened to me? Uh, germ god doesn't I'm get many visitors. <laughs> uh, uh, a germ casts a terrible curse spell upon you. You take uh, a significant damage and fall off Berm's shoulders. Oh. <laughs> Wait, I, I didn't know I was on him. I thought I left. Uh, no, he was shitting while you were on his shoulders. <laughs> Okay. It yeah. made you an easy talk. I, That's I, how you were able to see his phone. Excuse me, does anybody know where a bidet is? Oh, by the way, you fall in his shit. Uh, God damn it. Uh, oh, no. Uh, say germ. Germ, germ laughs. <laughs> say germ. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Germ keeps laughing. Because <laughs> it's really funny that you fell in the shit. <laughs> He, he fell just in, shit. He fell in and then you, and then you fell from his fucking yeah. shoulders into the shit. The blast radius is noticeable. <laughs> it's steaming. <laughs> I'm quite proud of my shit. Finally, actually. the even, children who have been following you yeah. <laughs> are also laughing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, uh, no. It is just then that you hear the the crippled pirate children also laugh. <laughs> But they are not laughing at your shit-covered back. Indeed, they are laughing because germ has appeared. And if there's one thing they hate worse than this terribly sexy body bird, <laughs> it is germ, the wizard with underdeveloped legs. Give him what for! Give him what for! All of the crippled pirate children run toward germ! <laughs> Galactic uh, powers be damned. Uh, wh My legs wh wipe, carry me as much as you can. Wipe hands on pants. <laughs> you do Draw that. Draw unibrow. <laughs> Say, hey guys, what's up? I just got here. <laughs> Your new name is Frida Kahlo. <laughs> I said, children, come with me. Uh, they're currently fighting the wizard. <laughs> Children! <laughs> you want to stop them? He just cast a terrible curse on you. Oh, that was, diff that was a Whatever. different guy. <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, you, 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 uh, you, you call to the children. Uh, they're not art fans. They tell you to fuck off. <laughs> I wipe off my unibrow and say, Ha ha! You still smell kind of like shit. <laughs> I wipe off the mustache and say, You never met this guy before. They haven't. <laughs>
Uh, 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 but you know what? How are all these people ending up on my shoulders? That's what I want to know. I say, let's all beat up Berm for fun. What? <laughs> so I can get into me. that. <laughs> Ger- <laughs> Germ's <laughs> digging it. You know what? Ger- Germ <laughs> casts <laughs> terrible curse <laughs> on Berm. Sure. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Suddenly, I'm discovering something about myself. Uh, uh, Berm, Berm feels really fucking sold out. <laughs> uh, yeah. Considering. You know what? <laughs> You know, all I have to say is, fuck you, fuck you, you're cool, fuck you. All right, I just run north and ignore everything, shouting, caca, caca, for like, I don't know, three or four map spaces. You do that. (laughs) (laughs) You're very lonely. You're in a field. You, all of your life decisions are rolling back into your head. You, I, you, you have a montage, uh, and it's scored to this. What could be better? I don't know. It seemed like we were cow. better than ever. How sexy Berm was that and bird? Me the and the pirate children make three. Maybe I made a wrong Jim call. The wizard, he was kind of weird. You know, I but think his adult. biceps were sweet. I'll never find that bird. I Why think the right decision is to just admit I was wrong. Bird. It's kind of weird. I walk slowly while the music continues. It. I don't know, guys. Hey, it's me, and I don't know what my name is in this dream, but I know good people when I see them. You open a McDonald's franchise. <laughs> 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 Who, who's loving it? <laughs> ba da ba ba ba. You wake up. Yeah. Hey, wake up. Yeah. Oh, wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Why? Why did? Why did you put me to sleep? Catchphrase. <laughs> <laughs> I literally don't remember how we got into that. Bit. Uh, yeah, whatever. It Fuck it. Doesn't matter. Fuck it. Yeah. Fuck it. Okay. All right. Oh. I just want to say, like, all of you had words, and all I could come up with was <laughs> caca. <laughs> And yet, you are the integral portion of the show. Mm-hmm. That's the power of, uh, uh, look, uh, number of lines written for the arc, zero. In Raiders of the Lost Ark. Yes. Oh, there oh, you're yeah. talking about Noah. I was also thinking about Noah's arc. Yeah. No, yeah, the arc is just like, fuck, this is rain. Yeah. Where, Where are my lines? lines? Yeah. Do you ever think, who, who would be cast as the arc in Noah's uh, arc? Mm-hmm. Oh, um... I Tom mean, Hardy, John no, Goodman. Bodie McBoat face. <laughs> John Goodman. <laughs> Bodie McBoat. The Titanic. The Titanic yeah. would be cast as <laughs> the art. Oh oh okay. how, how many famous boats can you name? Let's go in the round until you run out of steam and you name? Let's go in the round until you run out of steam and then you're eliminated. Uh, Got you. Uh, okay. uh, I'll say Bodie McBoat face. Your first one is going to be Bodie McBoat face. Yep. Okay. That's, that's a boat. Uh, uh, yeah, I'll say the Titanic. Okay, good. Okay. Uh, uh, the. Uh, the Pacific Princess. What is that? Ooh. Fuck is that? From the love hipster. Boat. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Oh, damn it. The Edmund love Fitzgerald. <laughs> oh yeah, the wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald. Mm. Uh, That's a real th- panty dropper. Yeah. That's, that was one I saved in my twenties when I, when I when I rolled my physical click wheel iPod. Click <laughs> 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 click 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 click. Edmund Fitzgerald. Bryce. Uh, the Nina. Oh Penny. God damn it! Or Bonnie? Wow! <laughs> I just said Penny. Wow! <laughs> because we wow. went back to like Boats. school. Wow! It's Boats. The Nina. Uh, crime pays. Wait, is that a real boat? Yes, it was out on the river. Remember the lawyer? Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'll say that the was Pinta. Just, uh, so so we're not saying <laughs> famous boats. We're saying boats Bonnie has seen <laughs> in her life. Yeah. Boat name. Well, okay, the Intrepid. There you go. There you go. I'll say the Pinta. Oh, I will say the Santa Maria. <laughs> <laughs> the tall ship Alyssa. Okay. The Bismarck. Oh. Mm. The Lusitania. Oh, damn it. Damn it. We got some fucking the ship Lexington. heads up in this bitch. The Mayflower. Too bad. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> <laughs> Give him a second. You're so harsh. You got The, the, the fan man. boat we were on <laughs> in the RAV4 sponsored content, uh, Let's Go Places uh, season two. I can't deny that truly is a great boat. It was a, it was a hell of a boat. <laughs> I can prove it. Brett? Battleship Texas. 
<laughs> shit, I, was, I thought I was going to mm. eat shit. Yeah. The SS Carl Vinson. Wow. Oh, we got oh, Bryce. A bunch of. Uh, the Con Tiki. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good one, actually. Yeah. <laughs> oh. um, um, Your turn. Con Kandiki too? Yeah, that's another good one. Uh, uh, the USS Revenge of Kandiki. <laughs> the boat from Jaws. <laughs> oh, well now you're just d- wait. Come on, you gotta name it. I have a name. Yeah, fuck it's from Jaws. It was nah, a come on. Excuse me. Yeah, Invented the, the blockbuster. The they had to Steven have a name. Spielberg. Have you heard of him? And he mm-hmm. named the boat something. Yeah. I'm sure they did. Moving on. They did. <laughs> the, no, fuck. I lose. I lose. I'm bad. I lose. The SS Bob Lanier. Nuh-uh. Yep. Nuh-uh. That's the, uh, it's the, it's a See, ferry boat. I was protecting between, it from getting, yeah. It's a ferry now, boat now it's between Galveston yeah. and, uh, and, uh, and, uh. I ain't never seen a movie about it. The yeah. The, the what? what? The Pequod. The Pequod. <gasps> Mm. Oh, look at the reader you, over there. Yeah. <laughs> you win. Leave you it win. to a picture drawer to also read. To be reading. Mm. Reading all the time. Okay, look, I know that we're just going to keep on going with the Olympic. Uh, the. Yeah. Uh, I don't know where Master to go. Master and Commander boat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Enterprise boat. Yeah. Uh, yes, ho- the hooray. Uh, it's a boat. The. I mean, can't you just start saying state names, right? Pretty much. Probably the Ohio. Yeah, I'm sure there's an Ohio. Boat. I'm sure there's got to be a Texas. A fucking Ohio. The SS Texas. Yeah. No, the the battleship Texas. Yeah. yeah down, there you go. Down the, uh, you yeah, got it, Bonnie. Yeah. There you have it. High right five. Next to the Yay. the uh, oh, high five. Next to the yeah. Once we get into the Air- Anderson uh, Monument. Did did somebody already say the Lexington, the aircraft yep. carrier that we were on? Oh damn it! Mm-hmm. Well, mm-hmm. I'm out too. The the SS uh, Nick Fury's shield flying thing. The flying ship. Mm. Yep. That's, That's a boat. That's ship. a fake ship. The Black right. Pearl. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> no, the Kaka. That's true. From Pirates of the Caribbean. That's yeah. not a real boat. Yeah, that's a fake ship. Think there think was ghosts that. on that ship. Oh, they put the ghosts good, on it. The good yeah. ship lollipop. Yeah, well, you're just reading, reading it. That's a good one. Day. Yeah, that's an old yeah, that's a that's that's what we do Wait, here. How would you say that? G G James G James B. Oh, G James B. Thank yeah. you very much. Uh, does anybody have uh, any big uh, uh, Fourth of July plans? Or anybody big Fourth of July? I was actually going to bring it up to like put the pressure on Brian to make a decision. Are Uh-oh. we doing any Uh-oh. Fourth of July? Because he always is like, ah, do 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 do. He wakes up. It's Fourth of July. He's just like, we've got to get stuff to blow up. Kids, come on, grab the hot dogs. Not this grab year. The s'mores. No. Why? What's going on? A big old burn ban. Yes. Yeah. Uh, too dry. Too dry. Ain't no fireworks stand. Yeah. Ain't nothing. Nope. <gasps> we should have. Oh, they're not. Uh, all, all the fireworks stands ain't opening up? Yeah, no. What they, if we uh, have like yeah. a planetarium yeah, they're not open now. thing? Yeah, right. This is when they'd be open. Out here. A we have what? Yeah, we should set up some kind of planetarium laser light show in the sound stage. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Why don't I you go just south. replicate the call, <laughs> 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 I'm at the laser light show. Come on. I, uh, I, really I press play shit. on Pink Floyd's Dark Side of the Moon. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Laser light show and the Dark Side of the Moon. Okay. Now, I actually be down for that. If we yeah, no. Or, I think yeah. that, that would be pretty fun. So you'll be putting I mean, that, that together? I mean, that would be cool, Is but that... I, don't think yeah, you could just go, I don't think you could go do that. No, we'll do it in the south stage. In the south stage. I know. Yeah. Like, can you just buy a laser light show? I think no, I think you can. No, no. Yeah. You just have the appropriate people help you out. <laughs> <laughs> like, do, do you know any wizards? wizards? <laughs> <laughs> Who Bring maybe have friends? a beef with berm? <laughs> we'll have <a> <laughs> beef with berm? Uh, It'd be neat. Yeah. I don't know. It- no, that would that'd be actually kind of fun because that'll be right yeah. after RTX. Yeah. yeah. And, and we can, uh, that, that's uh, the big we, thing. Is, that- is we would just have to not do drugs. <laughs> Hold, on. <laughs> Hold on. Whoa. 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 Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Uh, uh, no, we just have to cancel all of our shows on Monday. 
Well, we already don't have four killers on Monday. Make it a little three day uh, three day weekend. So so we are canceled on Monday. We're gonna take Monday off on Court Killers for Dwarf of July. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. And it turns out I'm kidnapped for um, <laughs> for weird things. So. Oh shit! Mm. Yeah. He's kid- Actually, if he's kidnapped, I can't do weird. It's just out yeah, of nobody can do weird things. So, so, for looks like I'm doing Johnson. drugs in your shed. Yeah, <laughs> one is the loneliest <laughs> of that, 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 That's where the kidnappers took me. They they yeah. took me to your shed and said, "Hey, fuck you, buddy. Do all these drugs or we'll kill you." And I'm like, "Oh." Okay. So we'll have you we'll have you wear those like you know uh, clockwork, clockwork orange, orange things, yeah. and then you gotta be like, oh, watching the. I show. mean, I I'm pretty sure that he'll willingly just keep his he eyes open. To, yeah, take the drugs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. nothing yeah. like a you want to take drugs. Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 what was the first? What was the first? Uh, la- has everybody been to a laser show at a planetarium? Mm-hmm. Yeah. My first crush was at a laser light show. Oh, yeah. okay. His name was Ian, and Don't I didn't understand the word. I was like, how she would said you Kaka. spell that? I need to write it in my notebook. Oh. Ian. How do you spell Ian? How yeah. do you spell Ian? Pretty common name, I would what say. What fucking Ian Not if you live in the Rio Grande like Valley. That is all. Jose? I know how to spell that. Yeah, how was it spelled then? Uh, so what? He was like he was like a cool a cool kid that went to the the laser light show. I I. I went like with stoners? my friend. I went to visit my good friend out in uh, uh, Las Cruces, New Mexico. Mexico. City yeah. of Lights. And there was like some planetarium drivable. I don't even know where it's at. But a then dri- we went to. A drivable planetarium. <laughs> from their plane. You lay back <laughs> and just I don't have know someone explain the stars <laughs> while your hands are on the wheel. <laughs> and you go downtown. I'm yeah. glad they finally built a road to the planetarium. Yeah, they did. They did. They've had those in Europe for decades. So they dropped us off and it was like, oh yeah. And we got to like I got to like do the show. Like I got to like touch the knobs. <laughs> oh. Hey. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And I gotta, How old were you when you were way. touching the knobs? <laughs> I mean, not very long. Yeah. Yeah. Old enough to, old yeah. enough to hate a certain sexy bird. Yeah. Yeah. Old enough to, old She's enough going to. Oh yeah, uh, old enough to go from one to ten yeah, <laughs> on those knobs. So you're supposed to like, you know, because there was like a music portion. So there was like the planetarium part, and then there was a laser light show, and then we we're in the like stage part. And what then what, got to what like was the album? The what was the laser light show? I have no idea. Oh, you had know. to be Pink no. Floyd. It was Pink Floyd it everywhere. It had been Pink Floyd. Yeah. It surely was. By the way, I hope Floyd. everybody, I, I, I hope the vast majority of human beings on the planet who have experienced Dark Side of the Moon have experienced it at a planetarium. Absolutely. Like where all you have to do, because the laser lights kind of, Stop being interesting at some point, yeah. and then you actually just sit there and listen to the one of the fucking greatest albums of all time. I went, I went yeah. when I was a kid, uh, uh, which shows you what kind of uh, parent my father was. But like uh, uh, me and my brother went, and I just remember seeing people just zonked out, like fucking really dialed in. And I'm like, damn, these motherfuckers love this album. <laughs> Like, they are really They're into this really album. Like it. Yeah. yeah. Are really on the dark side. <laughs> yeah, without realizing it. Like, yeah, yeah that, that took some work back then. Like, they didn't have potent drugs like you do now. Like, they had, they probably had to smoke in their car for a solid 45 minutes to get that hot box <laughs> that car. Oh, yeah. Jesus. Yeah. yeah. So, if, if is there is there any other, <clears throat> that would be my pick if, if, if I could uh, uh, willingly. Uh, force feed an album to the kids where it's like you're gonna sit down you're gonna pay full attention and listen to all of this mm. it would probably be dark side of the moon uh, right. uh, maybe the wall yeah no 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 the the wall's gonna be too upsetting for them uh, uh like what else is there besides dark side of the moon i mean it really depends like because i i almost like i like pink floyd i'm not going to be sacrilegious against pink floyd mm. but i do kind of feel like it's you know not the only correct, correct, I, really and, and I'm soliciting. I'm soliciting other contenders. Well, yeah. what is it? like you know because we did kind of drop off at some point. We went from having complete albums where you would sit down and right. listen to albums, <clears throat> and then you went to well, I got to have 
a single hit like but that wasn't until know. the odds like I, I yeah, yeah. 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 albums you, you, lasted you could well think, into the mid 2000s you could think I mp3s don't really for that agree. You're I would five say, minutes uh, I so, would so, say so, like even at the 80s they're still just looking for like well, the bop that got no, them on so that, 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 that there was there was a rise in single culture yeah. because you had like singles and yeah. and shit yeah. like that right right but uh uh albums really came back in the 90s because uh they could fit them all on cds and they wanted to sell cds for 20 dollars a pop okay 70s 80s and 90s were kind of the golden time for that uh, i was always too poor to afford all that like, but, but it's like every like cd was 20 bucks and it, you were yeah. terrified to invest 20 whole dollars on something you might something not like fucked up and bad yeah. right right yeah. uh but but then uh uh mp3 That's culture liked, hit like one of my favorite was uh 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 ah, shit like <laughs> but it was just like mambo like number five it was like a tom cruise <laughs> one, two, show but you three, get four, a, five. you get all the like your best hits if you get a movie movie soundtracks yeah. were movie big that, soundtrack. that, that, that's why i include the 90s because like yeah. pulp fiction like when, oh, when oh, movies was, became mwah. like an excuse yeah, to curate uh, uh like just from all over the place reservoir dog soundtrack was sure. fantastic well yeah and those oh, were even more like soundtracks are now where it was like old music or underappreciated music that like they that you loved in the in the movie and you wanted to hear again mm -hmm. the uh, uh big soundtracks in the 90s were all blockbusters because it was a way for a band that was like on tour for the album that really popped right to stay on radio so you'd put one single on a movie soundtrack right. and and now you would be hot again on MTV for X amount well, of and time. there would be that weird phenomenon where a movie could be kind of a flop, but the soundtrack would crush. Like uh, Last yeah. Action Hero had a fantastic yep. soundtrack. That's how I first got introduced to Fish. Uh, uh, Dark Highway was all Nine Inch Nails, Trent Reznor, and yeah. Smashing Pumpkins. Yeah. And stuff. I mean, no, the, the greatest, the greatest soundtrack to a movie that blew is Spawn. Really, the Spawn soundtrack fucking rules. <laughs> uh, uh, walk me through it. What, what you got? I mean, I don't know. Oh, oh, good songs that I liked when I was in middle school. Uh, <laughs> see, well, yeah. and yeah. my, the, my, also good. the Saint was really mm -hmm. good. The, the the one that got me that uh, was Peter Gabriel's Security album. That was the one that I like. I could listen mm. all the way through, or so. That was yeah. the other. One. So that so was great. So you could uh, just sit good. all the way through and just. Oh, okay. So there was a bunch of almost like mashups. Uh, filter and the Crystal Method. Oh yeah. shit! Uh, Marilyn yeah. Manson and the Sneaker Pimps. Sure. Wow. Oh, God damn. Corn. Uh, DJ Spooky stabbing Westward. The Prodigy and Tom Morello. Silver Chair. Okay, you're right. I seed. I seed it, everything. It, Cubis uh, and DJ Greyboy. Hey, uh, uh, my happy meter is going up. You got to yes. stop. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So Trey Warner is shouting gorilla. Uh, uh, Wait, Godzilla. What? Godzilla. Godzilla. Oh, oh the Godzilla. Uh, -na -na. -na -na. No, I oh, that's right. That. I hated -na -na. that sound. -na -na. The, the, is it, is it uh, cashmere? Is that what it was? Uh, well, but it was, it was, but it was the, the it was yeah, yeah. Oh, I hated it. Yeah. Mm. Uh, but no, the Tank Girl soundtrack is fantastic. Is that and why Tank Girl like was so popular? Is I love Tank the soundtrack Girl. It was, was awesome. Good? No, it was a so, weird movie. It was not it was popular. Great, I never watched it. Movie. I wasn't it was watching it. Cult classic. Yeah. yeah. Cult yeah. Pump up the volume and the crow. Oh uh, man. Yeah. But pump up the volume made me go into radio. Really? Because I wanted to be that. You know, nobody understands me, man. And I'm this, just gonna play this illegal music. And that's why there are 850 thousand podcasts globally. Yep. Yep. Pump up the volume. Yep. Thank you, Christian Slater. Mm -hmm. Oh. Concrete Blonde's version of Everybody Knows. That was that was from that album. Uh, when I when I first got to college, people said that I sounded like Christian Slater, and really? I really had no connection to his career, and so I didn't know how to take it. Hmm. So you're just like, okay, like well, fucking whatever. Yeah. I actually think you do sound more like Christian Slater than I do, but I you think look I look more, more like, like Christian yeah, Slater. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. At different yeah. times I, I, in your I, life. I, right now, I look like a Mike Pence prequel. <laughs> What? <laughs> Release the fly. <laughs> 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 no, 
that's just you with your conservative haircut. That's no, that's yeah, that's what it is. But it's talking. like, yeah, like I don't know, like you get like like flashback. He's like like staring off into space, yeah. like during some Republican fundraiser. <laughs> <laughs> As it slow fades and like, <laughs> fuck the government, man. 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 So E.K. Do you get confused for famous? Famous person? Absolutely not. No, no. What about you? What about you? Uh, I, when I was younger, I was mistaken for uh, Woody Harrelson. Oh, oh, I could see that. Really? Yeah, when I was working, when I was working at a bar, especially when I was working oh, at a bar. Oh, no, I guess so. And I was like, okay. I do not look like Woody Harrelson. Mm-hmm. Another beer, Mr. Peterson. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, I was, I was there for that. <laughs> Uh, I was about to say, you did kind of, like, when we first met, you looked a lot like Steve Bloom. Yeah, but, but nobody yes, knows yeah. who Steve Bloom is except yeah. for specific people. Hmm. Who's Steve Bloom? He's the voice of us. Uh, prolific voice actor in America. Yes. <laughs> oh. Uh, good, he's good, quite, good, good thing to look like. Spiegel? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. What's funny is I was going to guess that out of the blue because yeah. I hear his voice in so many different oh, animes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. thank heaven. He was the voice of 7-Eleven. That was, oh, that, yeah. was my, that was our big, that was, our, that was when he looked at me surprised. when I, He was like, well, I did this and I did it. I go, and you, oh, thank heaven for 7-Eleven. He's like. He's like, you motherfucker. You know me. I'm you like, know. Yeah. Yep. Uh, and we know it's that it's time to throw yep. back to, do to the price. Wow. All he, right. He can't, he can't hear us nice. when we... Oh, I guess he can. He oh. can. I was going to insist we do the ghost voices, but that's fine. <laughs> oh, uh, oh, we oh, send oh. it back to you, yes. planet Earth. Bye, Germ. Oh, oh hail Germ. Oh, oh hail Germ. Oh, All right. Germ. All hail Germ. Thank you, everybody, for joining us in the Green Room, Great Room, Great Night pre show whole thing. I'm Bryce Castillo, your pre show navigator. I'm here, of course, with one Corey Crunfield. Oh, hola. Oh, hello. Almost done. This is uh, the part of the show where we uh, we hold down the fort for a little bit. We do. While we get everybody. Uh, We're equipped. Uh, that's right. We, we're we, fort holding. We get. We, 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 that's right. Fortniting, we're fort holding, we're doing all that stuff. Uh, let's do a little bit of birthday borner. We're gonna go to discord.greatnight.tv, join our Discord channel, and check the birthday borner channel and see who's got a birthday that they want to get shouted out. We've got one today, and it is Android Doughboy who is celebrating their 39th birthday on June 19th. Happy birthday, Android Doughboy. We have yeah, we, we, we've got another kind of birthday. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, uh, kind of. Last bit on Android Doughboy, uh, they were their father's firstborn and was born on Father's Day. He said he was the best oh. gift a father could ask for. He later retracted that statement. Thank you, Andrew Do- Android Doughboy, and everyone who submits their birthdays. Corey, Corey you're holding um, Do. I, I a had box. I little, had a little birthday present for, for my oh, host here. That, that's very sweet of you. Thank you very much. I'll, uh, oh, okay. Thank you. Uh, you, you know, you sent, me, you sent me a nice gift over the weekend. I did. I, I sent him... Sweet. Uh, yeah, Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. Game Pass Ultimate. In fact, I, I'm getting the cloud gaming stuff figured yep. out. I'm yeah, checking yeah, that yeah. out. That's uh, very yeah. cool. So that way, I was. I thought you could play a real racing. <laughs> Finally, game play now. a real video game. <laughs> 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 no, I'm actually really excited to try out the cloud stuff. Yeah. I I, uh, I like being out on my patio, and I'd love to figure out a way to do some gaming out there. Yeah. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, but we got a box here. Uh, I'm opening up. Right here. It's kind of. Well, it was important for you to have this. <laughs> oh my goodness! So we are doing. This is normally the part of the show where we do some critical racing theory. Yeah. And it looks like we've got a little bit of a new theory here. This is the Lego Speed Champions. Right? <laughs> the Mercedes AMG Patronus yeah. Formula One. It's it's a mix. It's a supercar and an f- open wheel racer. Yes. Wow. Thank you so and much. I, I, I know I know you love uh, Hamilton. I'm a Hamilton I'm a fan. fan. This might be Botas, though, by, by the looks. Oh, it's got... This is 44. Yeah, but... It does kind of. Yeah. It is the. Uh, it is kind of the. Uh, mm, little. It is a little specific, but. Uh, yeah. uh, thank you very much. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is. I'm. Ex- I'm excited. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna put this together. Yeah. Uh, I thought it'd be fun. Yeah. This is very cool. Thank you so much. Oh my goodness. Mm. Um. All right. Well, let's do a little bit of critical racing theory. Let's Over the weekend, we had uh, the Canadian Grand Prix. Yes, we did. On uh, on Sunday. How did you feel about it? When when Max Verstappen won the race uh, pretty felt, handily. Felt great. It's nice when your person dominates everybody and it's not close. I know yeah. it was, it was I know not. Signs was kind of close in the end, but like not really, not really. 
And so yeah. it's very nice when it's a very stress-free race. Uh, now, uh, now I know you are pro Ferrari. They're big yes. on your fantasy team, yes. your Fergo Burr team. Yes. Always been a Ferrari fan. Yep. Uh, how did you feel about Charles uh, not finishing the race? Uh, Charles finished the race. Wait, no. Who am I thinking of? No. Oh, sorry. Excuse oh, me. Pardon. Uh, uh, Charles, Charles uh, uh, yes. starting at the back of the grid. Yes. Uh, and ending up getting some points, I believe. Yeah, fifth place. Fifth place, but um, you know, yeah, that's, he should that's have not probably top. gotten third. Probably could have gotten so, at least. Yeah, so uh, Charles had his had to put a new engine in his car and other new equipment, yeah. and so therefore you have to take a penalty, and that is starting at basically the back of the field at right. the start of the race. And it ended Luckily, up being the sort of thing where like he was going to get ten place penalty yeah. for the engine, and at that point. They knew they needed other parts, so yeah, so to fill it out, five and another five or whatever. So yeah. basically, put him at the back, uh, and and he didn't have what Hamilton had last year, doing the same thing of having both a sprint the race, fastest car, and, ha and also having the fastest. the fastest car. On the, that's, <laughs> that's also what he doesn't have. Yeah, but he, he did a very good job. I mean, going from from nineteenth up to fifth is is very solid. Very um, good. Uh, no, I, th I thought he did a good job. Um, I was kind of disappointed. I think he could have gotten third or fourth, uh, but he just the, the way the track worked and the and the bad luck he had coming out of some of the virtual safety cars and stuff like that. Yeah. He got stuck right behind a DRS train they call it, where basically a whole bunch of cars that are equally paced. They all get the same boost. They all get the same boost, and so they're all just stuck going the same speed, and it just kind of slows everything down. Yeah. Even though he wasn't a faster car, but man, that's tough when you have four cars to pass. Yeah, uh, because because it I think. What made, what made it different was that there's so much shuffling going on in the mid pack mm. that uh, Charles was in a position not to just overtake everyone bit by bit, but having to overtake entire batches of races, mm -hmm. right? Like there, there was a whole battle for, I, I want to say it was ninth place for a very long time that Charles was behind mm -hmm. after he made his final pit stop. Uh, yeah, that's not just one car. You have to yep. be able to, to overtake and stay for multiple. And even though it's easier to pass cars this year than previous years, what is different is all the cars are much closer together to the speed. So that so the the distance between, you know, in the past it was like Mercedes way out in front of everybody with maybe Verstappen somewhat close and everybody way behind. Right. And even the midfield was way faster than the slower cars. So you could kind of get past a lot of these people. Uh, now, but now cars it's... are much more evenly paced. Hmm? And so uh, I think it's a little bit more difficult. So I was a little disappointed that he couldn't get higher, but. I think if you're a, a Ferrari fan coming in fifth out of that, and especially with uh, Signs getting second, you still have to like give yourself a high five that you turned a, a weekend that could have been bad into reasonable. And yeah, into a reco a, it, a a saved recovery race. Especially when uh, Red Bull had Perez uh, uh, having pro out this car. Yeah, and so that really kind of saved the day for Ferrari. It's absolutely, and because if if Perez really had a had a, had, a, had a smoother race. Uh, he would have done very well as well. Yes, he, he would have done. He would have been up there. Yeah, for sure. Um, speaking of safety cars, um, how did you feel about early on in the race when Kevin Magnussen was shown the black and orange flag, much like Yuki Tsunoda was yeah. last? I believe it was last week um, to fix a uh, the, the the side of his Pen front end plate had 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 a collision and it was loose or it was just hanging. It was a little bit of a hangnail. Yeah, uh, we were only about four was, laps in. Five laps. That was unfortunate. Because there was a safety car right after he got in the pit, which is the absolute worst timing. Yes. Couldn't be worse. Yes, and so it basically just destroyed him for the race. Yeah. Um, they seemed to fast trigger for that. I don't remember that ever happening in the past, like right. at all. I mean, there was Yuki last week, and even. Yeah. But it, that one, least, that was pretty. That big. kind of makes sense because that is a big piece of, of of the back wing of the car not functioning and could fly off, and also. If it gets caught open or closed in a weird way, easily lose your rear end at 200 miles an hour into a wall versus this little end piece. Uh, and they were very quick to tell him, like, that's not, it's not affecting your car yeah. really much. Don't worry about it. Yeah. So that's happened so many races. You know, people bump those front end plates of the wings. Yeah. Um, and I've never seen them. I'm sure it has, but I've never, I've never seen them do that. So yeah. it, was, it was kind of a quick trigger on this one. I, I, w I wonder if the... So there was a, a part of the story people, people are saying, mm -hmm. people being Esteban Ocon and, and <laughs> Mick Schumacher, um, or excuse me, Kevin Magnuson, were saying that uh, if you were watching the race broadcast, Ocon 
says over the <laughs> over the radio. Oh, he's he's got a, like a thing flapping. This got a thing flapping. It's, I'm sure it's gonna hit me right in the eye here in any second now. Right. So apparently, Magnuson and Ocon talked after the race and said, "Yeah, he was joking. He really didn't mean to do anything." And and the idea being that uh, him saying that over the radio pushed the FIA to yeah. call to to, to 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 call that flag. Yeah, that was it was wild. Yeah. Um, yeah, but no, I'm I'm happy, man. My uh, I had a pretty decent uh, day for my fantasy team. Yeah. Or at least my one big one mm-hmm. was doing well. I think it moved up to third, I believe. Great. Um, yeah. so it is doing. It's doing well. Uh, luckily, science did well, which kind of saved me. Yeah, you know, I think I think I pulled him out of my active roster a, a while back just because yeah. it, it was very tough to kind of justify him being there. Yeah. But I, I had uh, at one point kept moved Russell, replaced Hamilton with Russell. Yeah. And seeing Russell in the in the drivers' championship, I feel a little good about this. Uh, so we're we're taking a look here at the Diamond Paddock, which is our fantasy F1 league. Oh, and then. I have to go open my email because we have an email from Chris. Oh, yeah. Uh, but currently the top of our diamond paddock is K Mag the Chad from Anton B. Uh, Red Attack from Chris R. And then Fergo Burr. I was I was looking at K Mag's team uh, and we have almost, we have very close to the same teams. <laughs> so we're going to have to be doing some, a little bit of shuffling around for us to to uh, score points on each other yeah. as we go along. Uh, now, your bullfight team is in 7th. Yeah, that was 17th. Not, not doing good. Not no. doing good, but... Uh, uh, I mean, better than me, my uh, hunks of the paddock only team is in 23rd. Yeah. Uh, and I believe my R- RUC1 is in... My real team is in 27th, so... Ouch. Uh, but I haven't, I haven't been playing it super actively, but, yeah. uh, but it's, it's a little bit tougher. Yeah. Um, uh, oh yeah. So we, one last thing we, we did get an email from, uh, uh Chris oh, uh, who, uh, uh, set up our prediction stuff that we did at the start of the season. And, uh, he sent an update on how the points are in our three way yeah. uh, thing. So Corey, you have 10 points. Sounds good. You have 10 points. That's because, uh, Max is in the correct place. Yep. Uh, uh, Lando's in the right place. And then, uh, um, you're, you're pretty close at the top. Leclerc, Sainz, and Hamilton are, are all up in there. Yeah. Uh, Russell as well. So so basically you get a point for being right on and then negative points for being off? Uh, goodness, I'm not exactly sure, but it, it's based on how close you are. So you've got 10 yeah. points. Uh, uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. Oh, wait, no, no. Here we go. It's a, it's a, it's a little confused. Sorry, Chris. I know. I'm, I'm, okay, here we go. Corey's got 10. Bryce has got nine. Yeah. Chris has got two points. Ooh. Oof. A doof a oh, doof. man. Chris, what happened, buddy? I know, man. But, you know, we still have another season left to go. Uh, we, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll check in more on that. And there's also 2023. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we'll just... Don't worry. Yeah, the next worry, year's car is going to be even better. Be fine. I'm sure. Even better. It's a weird year with the new engines and the new... Not the actual... The porpoising. The new porpoising and the new wings yeah. and the downforce. Like, and the inflation. No way. All right. Well, uh, they... <laughs> Uh, thank you, Corey. I think we need to get ready for the show here. Yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, we'll, we'll talk about Silverstone in a few weeks, yeah. uh, but not, not just yet. Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me here on the uh, the Great Night pre-show uh, uh, whole thing. A classic thing that uh, that it is. Um, what, what, a, what, a, what a gur move. <laughs> That's a very germ. What a what a. What so a it was a germ or germ. Germ, I think. Yeah. I only I read the book. I didn't do the audio. Book, oh, okay. Yeah, so I never yeah. knew how you it was might have pronounced. just heard it in your head yeah. as as germ. I mean, I was been uh, sitting there eating my bagel. Bagelin, bagelin, uh, bagelin. Man, this is a, a we're, 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 we're we're entering into a, a pretty just, hectic just like bagels. five week period. Uh, well. Uh, yep. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of shit going on. I mean, there's a lot of shit. There's frankly a lot of shit. Hey, there's been... frankly, there's so much shit here. Oh, my God. What the fuck? Why is there so much Why shit here? Why don't you baggle it just a, a little bit? bit. <laughs> come on, come on. No, baggle, baggle it just a little bit. Everything. Every baggle oh, it. Everything. Yeah. Wow. Garlic. This, that, that's one Sesame. of those. Sesame. <laughs> good, good. Uh, oatmeal raisin. <laughs> That's more of a cookie. More of a cookie flavor. More of a cookie. More of a cookie flavor. I'm sure some hipsters doing it though, huh, Bryce? Yeah. Yeah. The, yeah. The why? Why? Why would you do that? Yeah. Why would you? No. 
I'm asking you. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Why would I? Don't tip the A right. block. Don't tip the A block. Oh, God. Oh, it. whoa, whoa. <laughs> Foreshadowing. Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable. I'm just, I'm just floating ideas here. I look, I look stunning charges. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> All right, everybody, we're going to be a, a program here in just a minute. Let's do some checks and see how everyone's doing. Corey, how you doing? All uh, right, Brian, Justin, Brett. Hello, friend. The chat room and all of our beautiful audience. <laughs> Oh, we love to see it. Thank you once again for supporting us here in the Great Night pre-show, Green Room, Great Room, whole thing. One more time, patreon.com slash great night is how you can support this. Make sure that all of this stuff uh, uh, comes to your face holes every single week. You know that we love to give it to you in the face hole. Uh, all right, Brett, are you ready to do uh, you ready to do the thing? Let's do the thing. Okay, I will count you. <clears throat> <laughs> All right, sorry about that. All right, ready? In three, two, 